Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the Windows error code 0x800f0922 on Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the troubleshooter for Windows updates. Now to do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon, afterwards make sure that system is clicked on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and just click on this category. Now select other troubleshooters and lastly what you have to do is click on the run button next to Windows update. Windows will now try to detect any problems and fix them as soon as possible. You can then just close this window, restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to enable the .NET Framework 3.5 and its components. So to do this press the Windows button then simply type appwiz.cpl and then select it as a control panel item from the search result. Now in here just click on turn Windows features on or off and afterwards make sure that the Net Framework 3.5 is selected but also expand it and tick the other two boxes. From here on just press on OK to save the changes then you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Next in line another great solution is to run an SFC and DISM scan. To do this press the Windows button then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. And from here on what you have to do is copy paste the following commands that I posted in the description below but press enter after each command. Note that the scans can take a bit of time so don't lose your patience. Afterwards just restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. And lastly another useful solution is to enable the app readiness service. To do this press the Windows button then simply type services and then select services as an application from the search result. Now in here as you can see this app readiness service is right at the beginning of the list. So make sure to double click on it to open up its properties window and from here on if the startup type is set to disabled in your case make sure to click the drop down menu and select manual. And now the last thing you have to do is click on the start button to start the service, then click on apply and ok to save the changes, close this window and restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality fixes. Wish you a good day and thanks for watching.